At his campaign kickoff event in Pennsylvania, Joe Biden outlined his vision for healthcare reform in America. And I think to nobody's surprise, he does not support Medicare for all, although to his credit, he does have a plan. And that plan is a public option. Now, if you'll recall, back when he was vice president, Obama's administration also publicly supported a public option, although they didn't even propose it when they were talking about the Affordable Care Act. So I don't think that Joe Biden has much credibility here, but nonetheless, he is basically telling Bernie Sanders to bring it on. Not necessarily Joe Biden, but his team and Bernie's team. They've already kind of started this rivalry when it comes to the issue of health care, and now they're competing to prove to America whose vision is better. The more incrementalist, moderate approach with Biden or Bernie's plan, which actually would solve the healthcare crisis in America and end the debate once and for all. So as you can see, you already know where I stand on this. I think Bernie Sanders absolutely has the credibility needed on this issue. But nonetheless, I want to share an article that was written by Jeff Stein of the Washington Post, where he kind of outlines the rivalry between these two candidates here. I think this is interesting. So Jeff Stein writes, Joe Biden on Monday endorsed a public option that would allow all Americans to buy into a Medicare-like health insurance plan as allies of both the former vice president and 2020 presidential rival, Senator Bernie Sanders begin to debate the Democratic Party's health care agenda. Whether you're covered through your employer or on your own or not, you should have the choice to buy into a public option plan for Medicare. Your choice, Biden said during a campaign event in Pittsburgh. If the insurance company isn't doing right by you, you should have another choice. Sanders has called for enrolling every American on the Medicare program, a single-payer system, and an aide to the campaign took a swipe at Biden's decision to attend a private fundraiser that included health insurance executives last week. Biden is also expected to say he shares with single-payer activists the goal of universal coverage and lower health care costs, but that he does not support Medicare for all, the advisor said. He may reprise Hillary Clinton's Clinton's argument in 2016 that her more incremental approach would build on the policies of the Obama administration rather than replacing the Affordable Care Act with a single-payer system. We are all trying to get to a place where we achieve universal health care. I think he sees it like that, the advisor said. But if they want to go after him and Obama about their approach to health care, bring it on. Anyone defending the current dysfunctional system needs to explain why the average family should have to pay $28,000 a year for health care while the CEO of Independence Health Group, Daniel Hilferty, made $4.8 million last year in aid to Sanders' campaign, said in a statement. So the first thing that I want to note is that the Biden aide who is quoted here is basically gaslighting people. Because apparently, you know, he's trying to pay lip service to us and say, look, I agree with your goal that we need to lower health care costs and we need to get to 100% coverage. But if you actually agreed with that, then you would obviously opt for the policy that would put that into practice. It's Medicare for all. That's the one way that you get to 100% coverage and the lowest healthcare costs. So if you're not supporting that, then you don't get to gaslight us and make us think that you share the same goal with us because you don't. Your goal is actually at odds. Now, again, I want to remind you, because I think this is incredibly relevant here to this conversation, Joe Biden already said that he supports a public option, as did Obama back in 2008. You didn't even put it in the Affordable Care Act when we were debating health care reform. You didn't even propose it. So you told us you support a public option, you then get elected, you have a supermajority, you didn't go for Medicare for all, and you didn't even go for a public option. Why should we believe you now? The answer is obvious. We should not believe him because Joe Biden has no credibility here because, I mean, he launched his campaign by doing big money fundraisers, one of which was with a healthcare industry executive. And the reason why Joe Biden doesn't want robust healthcare reform, such as Medicare for All, is because he's afraid of the health insurance industry because he knows that if he gets on board with Medicare for All, he would lose any donors from that industry that are thinking about donating to him. Now, contrast that with Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders isn't afraid 
of the healthcare industry. In fact, the opposite is true. They're afraid of him because their stocks have tanked ever since Bernie Sanders reintroduced his Medicare for All bill, and this also has worried investors. And on top of that, health insurance companies like Anthem, who offer Medicare Advantage plans, they've actually increased benefits as a direct result of Bernie's threats to do away with them because they know that people are on Bernie Sanders' side specifically because they rip people off. And because they're so greedy, they shot themselves in the foot because every single American has experience with a health insurance company. They do not like their health insurance company. Now, when you look at public opinion polls, you'd see that people don't want to lose their health insurance plan that they have. But if you actually ask people why they support their health insurance, it's not because the health insurance company that they have is giving them a phenomenal deal. It's because they want to keep their doctor and they're worried about stability. Now, thankfully, a majority of Americans now support Medicare for All, largely due to Bernie's relentless advocacy for Medicare for All. In fact, even a majority of Republicans now support Medicare for All. But yet we have a Biden advisor getting extremely cocky, telling Bernie's team to bring it on. Are you sure you want that? Because you should be careful what you wish for. Because who do you think Americans are going to side with when it comes to the issue of health care? Who do you think the Democratic Party's base will side with in this debate, the guy who's been a champion of Medicare for all for his whole life, who has health insurance companies running scared, or the guy who surrendered before the fight even began, wouldn't even propose a public option because he was too afraid about what health insurance companies would think. Joe Biden has zero credibility when it comes to the issue of health care. And I'm excited that there's this rivalry brewing because it's going to demonstrate that Joe Biden is not just weak on this issue, but he's also a puppet of the health insurance industry because he's not trying to come up with a policy that would appease the American people. He's doing this so he can appease his donors who are holding fundraisers for him. And that's what this is about. So I'm sorry, I'm going to side with the guy who has the health insurance industry shaken in their boots right now. Not the guy who capitulated back in 2009. We remember that, Joe Biden. When you and Obama said that you support a public option, for you to not even propose that with the Affordable Care Act shows that you're a coward. You capitulate when the fight doesn't even start, you surrender before it begins, and you don't even want to go up against the health insurance industry. So if you want Bernie's team to bring it on, be careful what you wish for, because I am definitely interested in seeing you two debate this. You have zero credibility on this, Joe. Zero. Girly Mike Fettuccini needs your support on Patreon. What a loser. Visit patreon.com slash humanist report to support the low ratings humanist report. Sad. My views are much higher.